Hello, my dear friend. This is Phil again. Welcome back to my channel. So I did quite a lot of tests to try to find out which is the best auto melee weapon in the PTS at this moment, and to find out whether this new added auto melee weapon, the so-called Auto Axe, is good or is better than the ones we already have. Now let me show you my tests, and we can find out together. Let's start with. The Reaper. I mean, all the test weapon will be vampire based. And for Reaper and Drill, I have to equip the right perks. For example, the Gladiators, the Incisor, to actually maximize their damage. And to make the test simpler and easier, I remove the Tenderizer perk, and I don't use the Adrenaline perk as well. So this character I'm currently using is a proper melee build with maximized strength. And maximize luck. And the Reaper is molded with the extended blade. And let's see how it works on the scavengers. Uh, well, 17 per hit, but the attack speed is really slow. It's really not very fast at all. Let's quickly switch to the drill. So again, it's a vampire drill. With a puncture mode on top to give it some anti-armor effect, so it can do 18 per hit, but again with a very slow attacking speed, comparing with the other auto melees like shredders, chainsaws, and auto axe. At this moment, the drill and the reaper they are still feels like tools instead of weapons. They are good for building instead of killing. Now let's swap to the chainsaw. I need to quickly change my deck to maximize the double-handed melee attack and use the vampire chainsaw as well with steel bar and flame mode. So it's a fully molded chainsaw. And this is the maximized damage output of this weapon. Let's see how easily it can kill the scavenger. That's almost an instant kill. And for this one, that's another instant kill. Although they have only half HP left. Now let's see the full HP one. That's instant kill again. So this weapon is pretty powerful comparing with the Reaper and the Drill. Now let's switch to the Shredder. I need to actually quickly change my loadout to make sure I have the Basher perk equipped. The good thing about Shredder is it only needs one single perk to make the build, which is the Basher under the strength. We took only two strength points, and that means you have plenty of perk space to make hybrid perks like Shredder plus shotgun, a Shredder plus heavy gun, a Shredder plus explosive launcher, or just like me use all the weight management perks. So I can move freely when holding a、uh, tons of stuff. Now let's try it with this scavenger. Okay, he's down. That's almost another instant kill. So we need to find something much stronger, much tougher, so we can see or distinguish the difference between all of these powerful melee weapons. And the Merlot Queen is definitely the best experiment target. Now let's go with the shredder first. Okay, we got stacked and recovered in 2.8 seconds. That's a long recovering time, I have to say. Let's see how quickly we can kill him. Okay, so the total time we use is 7.8 seconds, but minus the staggering time, we only take five seconds to take down the Merlot Queen, which is level 100, with a vampire shredder. And now let's see how well. The chainsaw going to perform on the same level. I already changed my perk loads for the chainsaw. Now let's start. Now we haven't got stacked so far. That's a good sign. That's 7.4 seconds to kill the Merlot Queen with the Vampire Chainsaw, which is 2.4 seconds slower than the Shredder. So apparently, shredder can do better than the chainsaw when you do not have food buff, which is very important condition because I didn't take any food buff for my chainsaw 
O for my Auto X, which I will cover later in the video. Let's compare all three weapons without any buff at this moment because Shredder does not benefit from full buff. And here is the Auto X. Oh, got stacked and recovered in 1.73 seconds and we missed the target for 0.7 seconds as well and the total killing time is 10 seconds and minus the missing target time as well as the second recovering time which gives us 7.57 seconds now this is the total killing time for us to take down the Merlot Queen with a Vampire Auto Axe without any moat and because the moat cost a lot of stamps, a new currency you have to get from doing the expedition missions. So with the moat, the auto axe actually might be able to perform as good as the chainsaw, but I really doubt it can be any closer to the shredder. So at this moment, the shredder is much more powerful than the chainsaw and the auto axe. The newly added auto axe is not as good as the shredder we already have, although it's nerfed in the PTS already. But as I mentioned earlier, foot buff actually works for chainsaw and auto axe. So let's do a quick test to see how much buff we can get from the foot. So without any foot buff, the per hit damage for the auto axe is 107. Then I took some Yogwa's Reap, which gave me 25% melee damage boost. I took some glowing meat stick, which gives another 25% boost. And death claw stack gave me five points extra strength, which gonna boost my melee damage again. Then I had the mutant haunt chops, which gave me another 25% damage boost. This is pretty much almost all the food boosts I can get for melee damage. And there's another one, which I think is the death claw well-being. And that will give a bit more melee damage, but the difference won't be significant and I really don't bother to spend time to get that food ready. So with all the food buff I get at this moment, the damage per hit has been boosted from 107 to 122, uh, which is about 15% DPS boost. And if you do a paper calculation, and that extra 15% DPS boost will bring down the killing time of the Merlot Queen, from 7.75 to 6.59 and that is still longer than the 5 second killing time of the Shredder and the Chainsaw is actually performing on the same level as the Auto X so even with food buff Shredder still wins the competition so officially at this moment Shredder is the champion of Auto melee Weapon the newly added Auto X is disappointing okay there might be changes however before the pts goes to a live because there's still a long way to go until september if there's any changes happening in the pts i will do another video to give you updates but for today that's everything please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends but until next time feel against out